All right. <clears throat> so this is the third time I'm gonna have to do this intro, but thank you for uh, <laughs> thank you for the support on the MDK press start remix. Um, I, I'm surprised that I got that much support and attention. They got more uh, attention than the actual contest. I think we came in like fifth in the MDK, but. Uh, ah, okay. Um. Anyway, I'm sorry that I haven't been uploading. That's why I've only I've only been doing uh, live streams because I'm too lazy to get Sony Vegas. Um. So yeah, my computer died and I lost all my shit. I lost like a lot of tracks I was working on, which actually made me really sad. I was working on a uh, dubstep track, some future bass tracks, a lot of dubstep. Step track, and I had a lot of videos I needed to edit too that I lost, and that's the way the cookie crumbles. So, so the, here, right here, I have a little um, uh, what is it called, progressive house track. So I'm just gonna go through all the uh, what is it called, all the fuck, all the instruments and stuff, and just like play them. Can't really hear that one well. That's a super salty to really draw. I know it's really quiet, I'm sorry. I was meant to be quiet, so it's good. <laughs> So the thing is, I actually got all the MIDI's from the MIDI Big Pack in the WA Productions of uh, What About Progressive House Essentials. And I went for just this because it was the first thing I found. Uh, I'll be honest, it was just the first thing I saw. Oh my god, why not? So the only thing I didn't use out of this was this piano. And because I thought like the chords for it was really like, they seemed weird. There was like, all of them were major chords and there was one minor chord that just set everything out and made it sound really weird uh, I would, I'll play it right now, I'll show you I'm also sick right now, so if you're the last sniff one, I'm sorry so here it is and what really got me was the right key So I was like, oh, maybe I can, one, turn up this velocity to all of them. And I was like... I was like, that sounds a bit weird. So I'm like, alright, let's turn it down a good octave or two. So I turned it down. Like, I don't know why, but that still sounds really, really weird. So I just said, fuck it. But, uh, I'm gonna show you all I have. This right here is a Kickstarter automation. I'm not gonna open all these in this one, really. But, right here I have a basic intro, which I'll play now. Something. Why isn't the blue play? Mm. 
Thanks for the lot. So yeah, just a basic uh, intro. Like, it's nothing to be proud of. Well, wow, automations to increase volume. Wow, interesting. So for here, I did the same thing that I did in Toner, which is another house song that I made that's up on my channel, actually. It's pretty decent. I'll be proud of it. It's probably one of the first songs that I made where I actually, like, made all of it myself. And... I actually don't know if I made the meaty. I think I got meaty. I don't know. I'll be honest. But I know that I actually did. I just used samples like I did with uh, Zeta and shit. I actually named Zeta because it was actually, it was uh, Zeta who was the person who what did the dubstep tag I got off of. So fun fact. So here's the uh, the first part of the bridge. Or, I don't even know what the fuck it's called. So first things first, I guess I do want claps and uh, symbols and all that other stuff to be in it because it sounded weird and I'll show you. Because this is the same clap, but like, I thought it would sound weird if it just all comes in like this. <laughs> like it, it's groovy and shit, but it sounds weird. It sounds really weird. So it just seems out of place. So what I did, I decided to go for a um, clap on every second, fourth bar. Huh. So, like normal progressive house stuff, so I can kind of like have it going so it sounds a bit more like intro to it. That sounds a bit better. This is just that, but with slides and stuff. But like, here's the build up, and here's the uh. This is the song, whatever. You can't hear it because there was a filter put on it. But I really didn't do dumb mixing. You didn't see like like none at all. And I was just lazy. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. So here's the build up. this fill right before uh, the second part but it didn't sound right I don't know why just didn't go in in this saw I I didn't use a filter I used the fill I used the cutoff and serum because I decided that sounded a bit Sounded a lot better. This is just a basic um, saw, by the way. There's nothing special. Only thing I did was just add like a little bit of detune. I like my saws to have a lot of detune because if it sounds like. I just like it like that. <laughs> I was gonna add some subs, so it's not like... But, I didn't really like it as much as... Like, 
in it. I think I just added a lot of bass that was already in it. But unison, I could have gone all the way up. But I might as well save some CPU. But no, because uh, FL Studio 20 takes a lot of CPU. So here's the uh, here's the drop. So I guess I'm gonna play the whole thing in its entirety for you. So we meet by mic on OBS and uh, thanks for watching. So before I do go, um, I just want to say that um, I'll be making normal videos, like maybe some Fortnite, CSGO, more gaming videos than normal, that's why I've been live-streaming Osu a lot, as I don't have, I don't have Sony Vegas right now, blah blah blah, all that other stuff, so once I stop being lazy and stop uh, worrying as much about school, I'll definitely be making videos normally, all the heavy stuff, and this song could be so much better if you edit, if you mix and master, so make sure to <laughs> mix your instruments, alright, but have a good day.